Hey, what's not happening? Huh. Damn mustache. Anyway. Well. It's nice and sunny out, but it's still cold. Sun's got power, but it's still cold. Yeah. I let these uh, old lifters from my 315,000 mile motor set. I'm sitting here beating them on there to get them the part. Uh, so guess what? I am not going to put that much effort into 315,000 mile lifters. They're going to get scooped up and go over the trash. I'll keep those the small little metal discs so if I ever have another one get lost. But yeah, I want to pitch them so the next motor I'm working on, I'm going to end up having to buy a whole kit for it anyway, so, so we'll get a new cam and lifters for it, so. Anyway, as you can see, I've got the 90 up in the air, and now I see why Buddy don't want to come back and help me finish that job, because that line's all in plastic all the way up, and I don't like it when I find vehicles where the brake line's been just hung out there mid-air and letting it float around, so. Now I'm just letting it warm up, and get the uh, ice and everything off it and I'll get under there with a blowgun blow all the dirt off that I can and then uh, yeah so I get the brakes fixed on this and I think this is the game plan now since the weather's going to get warmer I think my 97 is going to come around my 97 that I that's grandfathered in with cheap uh, plates on it. Instead of $75 plates, it's still only $25, $30. Bucks. I think I knew mo that redone motor of mine is going to go into that truck with the new transmission that I've got sitting here that's been sitting here for it. And I got this 135,000 mile uh, transfer case I'll put in there too. So. Drivetrain wise, I'll lock it, knock a lot of miles off that truck. Body wise, it's still got 315,000. I really don't care. Rear bearings have been replaced, the front wheel bearings have been replaced. So what? It should go another 315,000, if not more. Ow. Okay. So, yeah. And that'll get rid of some more stuff here in the shop too so anyway I guess uh, yeah, I'm just letting stuff warm up and just kind of killing time here so but I'm just going to scrap these lifters I'm going to throw them in the pail have them here for a while uh, I don't know what I'd ever use them for I thought boy mount them in something upside down you got yourself a little roller table but uh, yeah who knows all right, well, we'll find something else to do. I'm just so excited about not being excited. Yeah. All right. I think I got a key switch that'll fit there. You know what this is going to become, don't you? The engine test stand. And to have the oil and the temp and a key start for instead of having the arc wires across. Had those laying around and just finally found my gauges again. Hopefully they'll work or whatever. I don't care. If it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. If it don't, shit can. Yeah, I'm not getting much done, am I? Um... Yeah, yeah, the truck's about melted out. I think I'm about starting to crawl around underneath it, I don't know. I just... Ah! Uh, got the shop, I mean, I got room in here. Boy, do I got room in here. I mean, got a vehicle in here, and I still got room if I had to. To work on a small project or something. Kind of like having this table here. Makes a little bit of a corridor here, but uh, what the hell. Uh, so yeah, I just started putting this little guy together. And the key switch is over there on the other side of the truck in that cabinet. 
And I thought, well, you know what? Let's go black. Start the black season at 71. Battery's on the back side of that truck. I can't get to it. <laughs> I was like, and then I got a mower sitting outside. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I got a mower sitting outside that needs to be back in. Well, brown truck side here and on jack stands. I'm not going to jack it up and down again. I know when I was going to have that much room, I could have left the mower in here, but about that time that I'd need the mower. And can't say hi. So, yeah, I'm just kind of going da 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 da. Uh, I'm waiting for the warm weather to get here. I am ready to go outside and do something. I got that blazer out here to cut up so I can haul that in. I ain't going to do that until it warms up. I ain't going to, it ain't worth getting sick over. And then, uh, get that loaded up. It's kind of why I want the 90 going. If I tear up the box on that, it ain't going to hurt nothing. I think what I'm lacking is uh, having people around me. I mean, used to be when I'd done this stuff, there was always somebody around. <laughs> somebody was always calling. I mean, I couldn't get work done. I mean, they were calling and wanting to talk or, hey, you gonna be there? Yeah, come on out. All right, we're on our way. Not anymore. Oh, and this grandpa thing, I don't know about that, it just, I guess it's going to happen, I mean, there's no change in it, it just, I don't know, I guess I'm getting old. <laughs> I mean, gives you a new perspective when your kids start having kids, I mean, really? I don't know. I guess. I guess I'm scared around about crawling around under a vehicle without anybody here. I guess if something happens with somebody here, I mean, I hate to see somebody see something happen to me like that. But at the same time, I hate to have something and not be able to reach my phone or call for help. And like I said, in fact, nobody really stops and checks on me. I don't want to die, die getting crushed to death, no. That would not be a good way to go, but... So yeah, I'm just like going da 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 Anyway, I guess I'm... Like I said... Heck, I don't know when this video will get up anyway. If you're watching this, this probably we didn't go up the same day and filmed it. So. Alright. Hmm. Well, never had one of these. One of the cars I've been storing out here is going to the junkyard, and this is my payment for storing it. All I that is missing is the tray for the uh, CD changer. Hopefully he's still got it. But, uh, yeah, I got a compact disc player. Six discs. I bet you there's bigger ones than that out there. I got all the wires hooked back up the way they were. So I wouldn't forget. Kenwood stereo. And it's a Yeah, stereo bridgeable amplifier, 600 watt max. Kenwood. And there's Blah speakers, like 12s, maybe 10. I don't know. I don't know nothing about this stuff. But that was my pay for storing that car. So I got a, all the wiring ripped out. I mean, there's a. Here's the battery fuse going to the back. So. 
I got it all hooked up before I forgot how it was all hooked up so if I could have a battery in here hey I'd put that in the shop I don't know kind of thought about putting in the Tahoe too radio in the Tahoe has been acting up but yeah I see uh, some felt fell down it's supposed to be some glued up there but it's laying down there so I suppose that's what it gets for sitting in a car and uh, nice thing is there's no mice in it <laughs> fired it up it's still blared since we can't have music on uh, YouTube you know I didn't let it play so got it ripped out so now you can haul this car off and I've been paid so I don't know maybe I'll put her up on Craigslist I don't know or if somebody out there watching wants a nice uh, stereo setup here you go you got your CD and I wonder if that's the same one as Roger got I'll have to ask him because you know I think he pulled that out and I'll have to ask him if he still got that But boy, it looks like I destroyed the car getting it out. I unscrewed everything. And uh, I was going to the, I'm pretty sure it's going to go to the crusher. <laughs> because motor's froze, body's rusting. And I wouldn't mind taking the tires off it. I'd have to look see what size they, are, size they are again. Tires might be handy. Ooh. Yeah, they might be handy. Keep the rims and tires off it. Get around the trailer. That'll be good. But, uh, yeah, he just ain't got the money to fix that car. And I said, well, that's probably a good thing because uh, there's more rust showing up in spots I didn't see it before. So it's just slowly falling apart here. So, yeah, the pickup's working. Um, tried jumping it. Had to do something to get in the car. Told him if could had to break a window because his remote the battery wouldn't charge up, wouldn't take it, wouldn't get a signal. So he popped the window. But anyway, so he called me again. He says, hey, you got the stereo out? I want to get her to the junkyard. I said, no, maybe tomorrow. And then I thought, well, hell with it. I'm bored. Wasn't doing nothing, so we got her today. Boy, I don't know what a full setup like that would be worth. I imagine that stereo is outdated, but the rest of that stuff may not be. Anyway, I guess if somebody out there is interested, uh, shoot me a message. Unless I use it. Like I said, I could really make the shop thump out here. I got speakers that I could hook up. and Because that's what he done. All, the only thing that was amplified is the rear. Otherwise, he still had all the stock speakers in it. It appeared to be stock. I don't know if I want to. I mean, I looked at them. I mean, there's no big magnets or nothing on them. I mean, wow. I was like, wow. And that held up to this. But I see everything's just wired in the thumpers here. So I might have used the factories as tweeters. I don't know. Don't know much about this stuff. Vehicle production audio box security system. I seen there was a horn under the hood, but as far as he knows, he never it never worked because the time he had it, the alarm never went off. So, like I said, the, the Tahoe, the stereo's been screwing up in that. So. Anyway, I guess I don't know what you're all going to get to see in this video because I don't know what I'm going to upload it. It could be a little bit of everything. So, all right. Look at there, the window's open. <laughs> windows open and snow's melting and I've got a tore up stuff me oh my god I'm not sure what the heck's going on but I am not feeling good today finally get the warm weather and now I don't feel good so <laughs> so I talked to somebody and they said try a Gatorade my stomach, my stomach. It's not liking me at all today. But yeah, well, we're finally leaving the house. And uh, it's freaking gorgeous out, finally. 
I don't know what the temp is yet, but it's up there. It just it was got into the truck. It's been like it's been running all day to get warm to leave. So I actually got the heat shut off, and it's still warm in here. I don't like Gatorade. <laughs> oh. So yeah, we're gonna go to the farm and see what we can do. Just... Yeah, I don't know much right now. I'll talk to you guys here in a little bit. Hey, look at there. It's the goofball team. <laughs> oh, we're enjoying the weather. We're uh, away from home. Haven't seen the mother-in-law. Oh, how the hell is their gas? Well, we've got. Usually, we leave home. The gas is expensive. Their gas is still two something here, and we paid two thirty six or something. Two forty, two forty nine. Well, okay. You see the soup? The other, the other one. Two seventy four. They said it. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to go to salvage yard here and look for some parts for this truck. And some, I need a couple of other pieces here and there too, so we're gonna go see what we can find. I know the salvage yard at one time had a green truck just like this, but uh, that's probably been run through and gone, so. Excuse me, sorry. So, yep, it's 40 some degrees out, and yeah. All right. Guess what? We found some stuff. Got a tailgate, hood, and a seat. Found parts for Rogers, which will probably be next weekend's trip. Uh, I'm get the rear quarter and the back door for his. And maybe we'll look at a hood too. Get the hood and that stuff all replaced. Hell, you ain't gonna tell that I'll pretty much take care of all the hell damage and everything on his vehicle. So then I'll be like, yeah. Oh. So, yep, there's Roger. He's over there. The wife and the kid gave us permission. We can go home, which we really wanted to because uh, salvage yard, yes, nice weather. Also brings sloppy ground. <laughs> Not enough dry spots left up there. They had plenty of ice and spots that melted. And, and oh well. So now, I don't know if I'm even going to have to paint the hood when I put it on, so I might be able to take it off and uh, just swap out the hood and that'll be fixed. Got a tailgate. It's got gold down the center, but I'm almost starting to think about two-toning this truck quick, just to do a two-tone and maybe then somebody will buy it and it won't be all green. I think that's the problem. Nobody wants an all green vehicle. I don't know. So anyway, if I do that, then I can take care of Will Wells quick and that, and then have her all fixed up and looking good. So anyway, we're going to head home and get this stuff unloaded. And the seat I picked up for the truck is electric. And we couldn't make up our mind if it's brown or gray or faded or what. Uh, it just, it looks gray. But at the same time, it looked a little brown, but the truck had the same color interior as this. The only thing we couldn't find was the driver's side and side door handle. And he had nine, tons of 94s and 95s there. But didn't find any newer ones. Couldn't find the piece to get the spider held in place on the other motor, so. Oh, yeah, now I can put my black tailgate back with my black truck and put a green tailgate on this green truck. So, so everybody quits bitching about that. <laughs> it's not a new truck, people. It's a good used truck that's got a lot of life left in it. And uh, anyway, oh yeah, and I, I found something at the salvage yard. By maybe I should buy a lotto ticket because. I was a one in a million shot to go to a salvage yard to find a registration that you were looking for last year. 
Yeah, I said that right. Oh, he's got a Chevy small block in the back of that. Uh, yeah, last year when I got rid of that Dodge Stratus, I couldn't find my uh, registration. Well, guess what? Remember the old Chevy Venture van? Good God, people. I'm doing 60, and everybody is just <laughs> passing me. Good God. Three vehicles just went around me. They're running at least 70. They're pulling away. Anyway, uh, Mom's old van. I don't know how long those people drove it, but it's sitting in the same salvage yard as I was going to take it to. Going through the glove box, and I found the Dodge Stratus re registration laying in the glove box. Like, no wonder I couldn't find that when I got rid of that car. But, yeah, so the old van's gone. And the funny thing is, there was something that Roger wanted out of there. And he still got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really? So, yeah, that kind of sad to see that mom's van died. And it was labeled bad motor, good tranny. So, I know the guy that bought it, bought it for his son to drive. So, I don't know what they done to it. But anyway, I guess. Hey, everybody. How's it going? We're up and moving. And Phil stupid yesterday uh, went to the farm with the cousin and that. Put a different hood and a seat in this truck. And a tailgate on that matches the truck. Kind of. And uh, we we'll have to start doing all this work. And like, ah, oh, crap, we forgot the video camera. So I almost let him go home and go get it. Which... Later we find out. So, did all this work to the 90. You got the brake line. That's what we're going after now. It's the one coupler I need. And, uh, got that go, got that all ready to go. Did all the bending of the brake line. No video camera. No video camera for the work we done yesterday. I get home and I'm looking and I'm like, where's my camera? I can't find my camera. It ain't in the house. I'm like, well, where the hell's... Then my head's like, uh, you had that in your pocket. And I'm like, oh, no, I lost it at the gas station or something. And, uh, I'm like, well, Crystal, I mean Squirrel, go out and check the center console of the truck. She come back in the house with the camera. I don't remember putting the camera in the center console of the <laughs> truck yesterday, but I did. Then I forgot something else we were supposed to do yesterday. Uh, so anyway, yes, the 90s brakes are almost done. You got Squirrel with me because she's on her, what? You got one more day or today's the last day of your spring break? Tomorrow's my last day of spring break. Okay, I got her one for one more day. <laughs> and then she got spoiled yesterday. Brother-in-law's uh, wife. Got her another panda. Ooh. So, yep. Just. Otherwise, it, look, it was beautiful yesterday. I shut the heat off at the shop, which will probably be cold in there today. And then, that's okay. And I uh, had the shop door open. And I tell you, I tried to clean up the truck the best I could so I wouldn't have gravel and gunk fall on my face. Well, that yeah, that didn't work out very well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys are going to notice or not, but we're on a gravel road. With really big hills. And uh, it's always fun to see what she does when we go over them. What are you looking at? They're looking at you, kid. They're looking at you, babe. <laughs> so. Can we come on the zone and we back? I don't know. Please? Maybe. Is this fun going on this way? You sure? <laughs> oh, okay, I got myself that time. <laughs> My tummy jumped. <laughs> hey. Oh, nobody's coming. <laughs> oh. oh, 
I got myself that time. <laughs> she likes going over hills. Her sister, not so much. Oh, she got orange, she did. Yeah. Me and her would always look out the back window on our stomachs. Oh, so yeah. They'd... It feels like we are flying in mid air. Uh, all right, well, we're almost there, so we'll get the 90 and get the brakes finished and get that truck out because I got a project to build. I didn't do nothing. Okay. Project to build because uh, we're going back to the salvage yard next weekend for the cousin. Going after a rear hatch and uh, driver's side rear quarter assembly. So hopefully here soon he's got some time or otherwise uh, let him borrow a vehicle and I'll have his van and have some body work to do. So, all right. Well, I tell you, I don't know what the deal is with these parts houses, but nobody's got a quarter uh, cup union. Well, I forgot about it this morning. My, I, I see, I'm getting forgetful at everything here lately. I forgot, I saved all that shit off the Direct 97. So I just walked out in my barn and found this. So I got me what I need. We'll put that in, tighten up the lines, and I'll try to get the front end down, get the hood open, and start filling her full of brake fluid, and get out my brake bleeder and start bleeding, bleeding these lines. Well, I got one more thing I'm gonna. Why do you have to bleed it? Get the air out of the lines because the air doesn't compress. Why can't I go? Because that's all the longer that is. You move the table up. So, but anyway, I'm gonna get that on and. Uh, I'll show if I remember I'll show you the brake line that I took out of this thing how bad it was so uh well that was squirrel no -uh, I didn't do anything mm -hmm. totally. all right all right we'll be back hey welcome to you welcome to the 90 I don't have a brake line I've got great brakes I had to loosen the gas tank again on, I thought I cranked on those fittings and you don't ever want to do them and I had to drop the tank down just a little again to get on there to give her another quarter turn to get her to seal up and then the other coupler was leaking on one side I got that so we got brakes that hold and don't leak now kind of nice so brakes working I just got to replace a sensor on the end tank for the coolant thing that broke I know what that is and uh, so yeah we're driving the 90 now we're gonna run the town and get some uh, water I forgot water <laughs> so neighbor showed up at the right time again he helped me finish up doing this and so I was sitting there vacuuming using the vacuum pump to bleed it and it wouldn't bleed. I'm like, what in the world is wrong with this thing? I know, come to find out if I, it was sucking air. So, okay. so as soon as he pumped them up, we got the brakes just boom, right now. So, well, we're gonna go get the water and uh, drive this around for a little bit. So, all right. Hey, you can see the garage door again, so you know the 90 is out of the building. But since I've talked to you guys last, I just, uh, I don't think my lens is getting scratched up. Dang it, I can see some. Ah. Uh, this is what I've been fighting to. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to go see the doctor tomorrow. Very minor things, nothing too stressful. Now, if I was like lifting blocks or tires all day long, I could understand, but I'm not sure what's going on. And all I had to do is tighten up some connections, and I had to loosen the gas tank again because the one up behind the gas tank leaked. So those bolts are well, you uh, got the rest wore off them, but. Uh, Really didn't do anything strenuous. Rode the town, got some water, ate some lunch. Got back out here and it's just like I can't function. It just 
like something's taking the air away. I told the wife, I said, I don't think, I don't feel like I got pneumonia, but I can't just, and then when I was up walking around, it's just like I wanted to fall down. I just, I sit down and not move. I'm not too bad, but even just talking to you guys right now is kind of straight on me. So I don't know what's going on. So I called and talked to the nurse. I said, I don't know whether it's worth it. She said, nah, you better come in tomorrow. So I said, I'm getting pains through the chest, down the arms, the legs, the hands. It's, if I didn't know better, I was, I'd say I'd had a rheumatoid arthritis, and I know I don't have rheumatoid arthritis. I pray not, anyway. But what's bugging me is right through here on the chest, it's just like pulling. Uh, pain pills, no matter what I take, it don't seem to knock it out. So, I don't know. So I had the door open another nice day and took the blow gun and the broom and swept them, blowed everything out. And then that was about it. That's all I, I I've been sitting watching TV because I've just, no energy, none. Started out the day pretty good, and I tell you, I hate vehicles with dirt on them. I rolled over once, and I had fine powder going right down to that ear. <laughs> I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> By the way, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it's going to be a few days of videos combined all together, but uh, at least the 90 safe to drive. It stops on its own. Uh, it's registered. It's insured. Then I'm going to go home and put that on Craigslist and see if I can get her pedaled off to somebody. I mean, it's going to, and I, it does have a new transmission in it. If I was under there working on the brake lines, I seen where the transmission place to put their tag on it. So the tranny's been replaced, the motor's been replaced, brake lines have been fixed. Um, so, yeah. That upper end of that motor had to be redone, as we know. We've seen them do that. So, I guess maybe tomorrow I'll get some measurements off my generator and that because uh, I got a welding project I want to try and do this week, which I don't know. I'm just shot. And then while I was at the junkyard Saturday, I was hoping to find a Vortec motor that I could have stole the bracket out of to hold the spider so I could finish up this motor. And do you think I can find it? No. So. Well, guys, you all take care, and hopefully we can get back to doing some regular videos because now the weather's warming up, the ground's drying up, and... I got stuff I want to do outside and inside and get back to doing my thing what I was doing. This winter's been really tough. But I'm ready for it to be done. So, oh, excuse me. God bless you. And thanks for watching. Y'all take care. And we'll see you when we see you. Which hopefully is on a regular base again. I had a couple of you guys ask me if I was still okay. Well, I'm here, just not a whole lot happening. Yesterday working on that truck, putting the brake lines in and getting that out, wouldn't have been a good video anyway, because things weren't going the greatest, and my helper, squirrel and cousin, were more interested in watching TV than helping me, so, hey, it's all okay. It just, but, uh, all right. I gotta go. See you later. Bye.